Hi everyone, it's Manu from Gates. Today I'm going to show you a few things for you to start working with Zen Orchestra. Let's do this. Please connect to your XOA. On the home page, select the XOA tab and click Updates. On the right hand side, you can see if you already have an account with us. You should register to have access to updates and if you want a trial for XOA Premium, which includes premium support as well as all the XOA features. Once you are registered, you can use the Upgrade button located on the top left corner. This way, you are sure to be working with the latest version available. On the right hand side, you can select the Release channel. There are two different types, Stable and Latest. The Stable channel is at least one month old, while the Latest channel is less than a month old. Finally, you can see on the left hand side that you can add a proxy if you have a remote server. I clicked on the Upgrade button, so I will wait until it's done. Once it's finished, you must click on the Refresh button to see the real version of your XOA. The next thing you can do is to connect your primary host. At the moment, if you go to the home page and select VM, you can see that there is no server connected to Xen Orchestra. To change this, go to the Settings tab and select Servers. Enter a label, the IP address of the master server, a username and password. Finally, you can allow unauthorized certificates and click Connect. There is no need to add the secondary hosts of the pool. They will be automatically added when you connect the master server. Now, if you go back to the VM list on the home page, you probably noticed that you only see the running VMs. Indeed, there is a default filter to show only VMs that are powered on. You can modify this by going to your user profile and set known for the default filter for the virtual machines. Once this is done, if you go back to the VM list, by default, you will see all of them. The last thing I would like to show you today is how to add an SMB ISO storage. You can click on New and select Storage. Select the host, give a name to your storage, add a description. Usually, you would select SMB if you are working with Windows. You need to add a username and password, as well as the path to the share folder, and click Create. Your ISO storage is ready, and you can see it if you go to the Home tab and select Storage. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back again soon with another video. Bye!